Isaiah 61 and 1 and it reads, it says, The Spirit of the Lord power, Yahweh Shemawashah, is upon me because the Lord, Yahweh Shemawashah, have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. You see that? We represent the brokenhearted. We're the ones that are crying out in grief. All right? For the oppression, for the slavery, for the evil that's being done. It says to proclaim liberty to the captives. We are the captives. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Hey, that's us. All right? We're bound in the prison house. America, Babylon, the place of our captivity. Egypt, the land of our bondage. The point, verse 2, it says, To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, Yehovah Shemelah and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. You see that? So we're approaching the day of vengeance of our power, Yehovah Shemelah And this message is to comfort you, to know and understand that, look, there's a way out. There's something better than this. The Lord, He's going to redeem us from this condition, from this hellhole, man. That's why we say continue to pray, continue to cry out. The Lord is listening. Revelation 19. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia. Salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Alleluia. And the smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen. Alleluia. Came out of the throne saying, Praise our God, all ye servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. <laughs> Rakata Yahweh, 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 Rakata Yahweh,